Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review video on the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. So if you would like to know what I think about it, then please keep on watching. But before we get on with the video, don't forget to subscribe and push that bell notification to notify you whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to follow me on any other social medias, I will link them up here. They would also be down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. I first used the... I bought this on the um, at Ulta Beauty for their 21 days of beauty because it was 50% off so I got it for like $17.50 it's originally $35 and I wanted to try I've been wanting to try for a while but I was like there's a lot of drugstore powders that I use that do really well for me so I'm like uh, $35 is a little steep but because it was, because it was 50% off I was like why not let's try it so I tried it today is like the third or fourth day that I've tried this powder and I do not like it it's not good at all I'm actually on my way to go return this right now because it, it not sucks but it doesn't work for me basically for $35 I was expecting it to be really good and comparable to the Laura Mercier powder, but it's not. In, um, I have combination skin, so like depending on the season, sometimes I'm dry and sometimes I'm oily. And right now, I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit on the drier side, but I'm not as dry as if someone's um, skin type was just dry instead of combination. So, but to me, this made me look so dry and it sinks into my fine lines and even right after I put it on it already starts breaking up around my nose and I thought maybe it might be the concealer or foundation but I used three or four different concealers and foundations with this product and they all don't work um, I used it today um, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look terrible, but you can definitely see that I'm really, really dry around my face. And I only put it around here because I put, um, I just, I couldn't deal with the dryness. But, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look horrible, but I feel like my other drugstore powders do a lot more for me and they don't make me as dry and it feels really dry on the skin but yeah so if you have oily skin it might work for you I will show you the clip of me trying it right now so I'm about to try the cover FX perfect setting powder for the third time today so um, I tried it two other times and I really didn't like it. So I'm going to show you guys on camera why I don't like it and how it performs on the skin. first glance it doesn't look terrible but for whatever reason this powder makes me look a lot more drier than any other powder that I usually use like I really like using the um, the makeup revolution banana powder or the uh, the Maybelline has a really 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 good um, setting powder as well that one is really really soft one of my favorites and I also like the air spun Cody Cody air spun and those are really drugstore those are like drugstore prices you know really cheap this one on the other hand is like $35 so I'm expecting it to work better than it does but like it accentuates my creases under my eyes and it just like was it up it starts breaking apart on my nose it just makes it look really really dry and I get it it's powder but like my other powders don't do this it just makes it look so dry it just looks 
horrible. So I'm only gonna use it on, oh, hello. I'm only gonna use it on my under eyes right now because I really don't wanna use this all over my face because my face right now is really dry and I don't want that all over my face. So I'm gonna be going back to my usual powder which is the Makeup Revolution banana powder as of right now. I usually go mix in between the, um, not mix, but yeah, sometimes I mix it. I go between like the Makeup Revolution banana powder, the Maybelline um, Fit Me powder, which is really, really good. If you haven't tried it, you really should. Um, and then for high end, I usually use like the Laura Mercier, but the cover effects is not, is not it. Maybe my face is just too dry for it. So wait, I have combination skin, so it's not like super dry but it's not super oily either so if I'm saying that it's making me look really dry then if you have dry skin stay away stay away from this powder like stay away you do not want to be wasting your money for this $35 powder so yeah um, I just do not like it for my under eyes or anywhere else it's just didn't work for me as you can see in the video it was already looking really really dry upon application but yeah so this is a no-go for me I'm gonna go return it I do not recommend this at all I would rather recommend like the drugstore ones that I mentioned in my earlier clips which would be like the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder the Makeup Revolution banana powder and the Airspun Cody translucent powder. Those are my usual, those are my go-to's. But yeah, so this is a no-go for me, guys. Um, in my opinion, don't pick it up if you haven't. But if you wanna try it, and if you have oily skin, then maybe it will work differently for you. Um, but yeah, let me know down below in the comment section if you have used this, and if you do like it. Oh, shit. Um, if you have used it and if you do like it and what your skin type is and what is the best way to apply it because maybe I am applying it too much or too wrong because I know um, the Fenty powder uh, people were saying that it, it's amazing if you do it with a light hand instead of going all in so maybe that's the same with this one I don't know but if you do then please let me know down below in the comment section but yeah that's it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications and if you want to follow me on my other social medias i will link them up here again as well as down below in my description box and yeah i hope to see you guys soon in my next one bye